living for Elijah. Oh, what peace, rivers of pleasure, never cease. Trials may come, yet I'll not fear. Living for Elijah, he is near. Help me to serve thee more and more. Help me to praise thee o'er and o'er. Live in thy presence day by day, never to turn from thee away. Living for Elijah, oh what rest, pleasing my master, I am blessed, only to live for him alone, hear from his lips, my child well done, help me to serve thee more and more, help me to praise thee o'er and o'er, live in thy presence day by day, never to turn from thee away, living for Elijah, oh what peace, Rivers of pleasures never cease. Trials may come, yet I'll not fear. Living for Elijah, he is near. Help me to serve thee more and more. Help me to praise thee more and more. Live in thy presence day by day, never to turn from thee away. Live in thy presence day by day, never to turn from thee away. We, we want to see how thankful we are to the Lord Elijah first and then to Queen Yusi for that special song, Living for Elijah. Amen. If all the world would live for God, then the world would be a better place. Amen. This is the House of Israel Bible class. Amen. And we want to see how thankful we are for every person, every town, every city that are opening the doors. And every opportunity we get to let this message come in. We we have chosen to say something very special about our leader. Amen. Because we know that he is the greatest Amen. of all time. Amen. You see, you see the world in Black History Month talks about all the great leaders except our leader. Yeah. So we want to use this opportunity Amen. to tell you that if it wasn't for our leader, Amen. which the world may know as Bishop David Hill, may know as Rabbi, and in the house of Israel, we call him the Lord Elijah. Amen. All the great leaders that you see would not be there. Amen. He is what you call 
their inspiration. Amen. 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 You know, I want to say something from the book Black Tongue USA. Yes. That gives a, a picture of who David Hill is. Right. Because many people think that David Hill just came here and started the struggle. But the struggle is this man's life. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. He has chosen this struggle rather than his own family. That he stays true to the struggle all the time. And he always tried to free his people. And whenever he tried to free his people, he's being ridiculed, verified. And you name it, they have called him here. Yes. But it had never stopped the house of Israel from giving him glory, Amen. praise, Amen. honor. Amen. 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 For the work that he has been doing all his life. Amen. You know, I, I want to read something that he says. He says, Behold, the Lord does not concern itself with justice. And men do not concern themselves with virtue. And the society does not concern itself with the welfare of its people. This is some of the words of our leaders. And when he's showing us how the society has become, He tells us for us to overcome this society, we have to hold on to him more and more. Amen. 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 We, we are in a position where people are compelled to ask, for what purpose? Is this all business? When we look at our society and we look at all the prophecies that Bishop David Hill has given to us, mm. he told us that this society would become like this. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. He told us as long as we turn from his ways, mm -hmm. the moral values of this society will fall. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. You see, even though it might be our swan song, nevertheless, it is our will to raise up the spirit of the people. In other words, to teach them their way of life, Amen. Yes. Amen. their culture. Amen. When you're going to restore a people, the first thing you want to give back to them is their culture. Amen. Amen. 1972, in Guyana, David Hill has restored our culture. Amen. 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 To resurrect every man, giving strength to his character. Yes. You see, you see, we love the way he writes. Yes. Amen. It is because he writes and talks to the spirit. Amen. 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 You, you see, for a people to be free, the spirit has to be revived. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. You have to be taught about your God. Yes. yes. You, you, you know, you know, the purpose of wicked people 
is to destroy our God, our culture, and everything. Mm. But as long as the society have people like the Lord Elijah, yes, Bishop David Hill, Amen. You can never destroy what he puts in us. Amen. 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 You see, oftentimes he tells us, he tells us how to, to raise the society up. He says, giving strength to his character, determination to his mind, and courage in his heart. Wherefore, we ask, bear witness, Princes of these tongues are slow to action. You know, you know, when he writes, all you got to do is read and think. Amen. Yes. Amen. And look at the society. Yes. You will see the words of Bishop David Hill. Amen. Amen. That it has not fallen Amen. on their fears. Amen. 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 Right. Look at the society. We really need a moral revival. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Our women folks. Mm -hmm. How they dress. Oh, yes. yes. Mm. Our men folks. How they dress. Oh, yes. Mm. Yet. The government. The society has not seen it fit to speak out, to cry out against these things. Amen. True. When you let the morals of your society fall, it is just like you have removed the spirit of God. Yes. Amen. The Spirit of God is, comes with decency. Yes. But our society has become so lawless. Mm. People have turned their hearts away from God. Yes. The temper of the people is worn within. In other words, the people are weary. weary. Every government we see around the world, people are rising up. It is because they're unsatisfied with the way they treat them. We can always say in the house of Israel that we're proud and we're happy with the way that the Lord Elijah, Bishop David Hill, has run this nation. Amen. 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 Giving every person equal rights and justice. Amen. When you talk about Bishop David Hill, we see a leader. Not a leader of Guyana, but a leader of this entire earth. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Check the government. Corruption is sweet meat of the judges and, and the people that rules our society. And sorrow is the product of their laws. In other words, the laws that they set, it protects only the big ones. Yes. But there is no justice for the poor. No way. You, you, you look at the courts. See who's there. The poor of the poor. The rich would do something. They never see the court steps. 
Amen. And these are the things that Bishop David Hill often talk against. Yes, Amen. yes, yes, yes. Amen. Says reason and cunning laws and logics. These have become the weapon by which to wreck the will of just men. In other words, they always give you a reason why they have to do something to the poor, to the righteous. And when you talk about suffering, our leader knows it all. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 He, he went from prison to prison. Amen. <laughs> he been given sentence for nothing at all. Amen. Yes, yes. But he did all of this to free the people that he loved so much. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Look at what he said. He said, wherefore, we are overwhelmed by disbelief, undermined by treachery. In other words, <laughs> all these things, when he tries to free the society, no one believes him. Amen. No, that's true. Amen. no one accepts what he's saying. Our society only honors our leaders yeah. when they are dead. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Very sad to say. We look at our leaders as soon as they're dead. His um, work. It says, formerly Bishop of the House of Israel, David Hill, is now a self styled rabbi. His radio broadcasts each Sunday are powerful sermons against Christianity. Yes, 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 yes. Then, he's an orator of considerable eloquence. In other words, when he speaks, people move. Yes, yes. 
You know, this is Bishop David here. I know some of the outside world don't even know much about Bishop David here, but just what they, they heard in the streets. Yeah. And with his rhetoric make him a popular preacher, his usual theme that he always used to speak about is Jesus. When he first came, he taught us who is the real Jesus. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Not the Jesus that the world looks at today. No way. But the Jesus that has suffered and was sent to this house of Israel. Amen. 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 They say he's short. Rotom, there's quite a merit and strength in him. In other words, he's always smiling, Amen. laughing, you know. Amen. Joy lives in him. Amen. He's a secure, deeply rooted in his religion. Amen. He lives for his religion. Amen. He has been ridiculed. Yes, yes. Verified by both blacks and whites. Yes. He suffers. Declared incompetent. A fool. Yes. A tool. But but I wanna I want you to hear how how the writer described him. Listen. Few who have denounced him. Has ever met him. That's right. That's so. Think of that. Our leader advised the greatest leader we ever had in this country. Amen. 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 Yes. People like Lyndon Fox, Samson Borner. Oh yes, oh yes. He was yes. a great advisor to him. Yes. yes. He fought this struggle. Yes. And I think the society owes him credit. Oh, yes. 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 Yes.
you know, you know, when the world look at that, what they say? They said, he's an upstart. They call them all kinds of things. But I want to I want to read some of what Mahatma Gandhi said. It says Mahatma Gandhi was a figure known worldwide for advocating non-violence, civil disobedience. Civil disobedience is, is the active professed refusal to obey certain laws, demand and commands of a government or of any occupying international power. Civil disobedience is commonly, though not always, defined as being nonviolent resistance. In its one form of civil resistance, in one view in India, known as Ashima. It could be said that this is compassion in the form of respectful disagreement. In other words, it is a method, a strategy yes, yes. that you use when the government would not hear yes. what